Hello and welcome to day five. My name is Tammy. I'm your aromatherapist and alchemist with a background in pharmacology as well as the science of nutrition. I also focus my predominant studies on plant constituents and their relation to human health and drug development. So, welcome. If you're new, thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, check out 31 Days of Essential Oils which is something I did earlier this year. I do have a blog that's going on on my website, synergestins.com, where you can follow along because I always write more about these oils. I am about halfway through 31 days simply because um, I got sidetracked over the summer. But now I'm back, so I'm going to keep working on those before I do these. But if you have any questions about these, anything that I say in these videos, please don't hesitate to ask me. Um, now that I'm back on track, I'll be better equipped to answer questions. I was kind of, I didn't offer any exhibition. I just kind of like, poof, went bye-bye for a little while. And so I was not really good about keeping up with anything online because I wasn't around a computer for most days, six days a week. And then many hours during the day. And then when I was, I was, I was just decompressing. I just, it was a, um, intense summer i'll put it that way but i'm really happy to be back really really excited to be doing these videos and um so as i said everything's getting written about one of the things with regards to the nutrition which makes me an alchemist is the fact that i'm i, I i'm now offering pairing ideas with nutrient-rich foods and adaptogens with oils why because oils are signaling molecules they do not offer the nutrition the cell requires. They can activate and deactivate genetic activity, just like many lipophilic chemicals, including the ones our own body produces. But those nutrients are required. And when the body's chronically stressed, which for the most part we are because we live on planet Earth, as I said, we have 45 million chemicals and counting that are impacting our lives, not to mention the fact that it's a kind of a crazy world these days. So mentally, mentally emotionally, financially, we're taxed. So with that said, the body is being depleted of nutrition. So having very understanding what foods do what and how to pair them with the oils makes an exceptional difference in the way the body actually responds to what you're doing for it. So, and this takes into account medications. You have to know that much. Everything that I talk about takes everything, takes medications into account. So, um, I'm actually going to make a note here before I forget. Um, okay, so benzoin is the one, sometimes known as Styrax. And um, really, this one's quite good if you pair it with um, patchouli, just because it's um, good for the skin. Um, but that said, benzoin also will irritate the skin, so you want to make sure if you're going to use it for skin care that you include it, you know, dilute it with... Um, you know, hemp seed oil is really good for skin. Pumpkin seed oil is another one that's really good for skin. If it's dry skin, possibly grape seed oil um, would be another way to do that. So, like I said, so benzoin in skincare, um, I've often used it as a grounding oil for children with autism and ADHD because it really kind of helps to calm them down. But what I've also discovered is it helps with the um, conversion of epinephrine to norepinephrine. So it, it helps in that arena as far as calming down, which means it impacts the um, autonomic nervous system significantly um, and helping in that conversion. So that kind of calming and soothing to the system, which means then in, in fact, it also helps with the um, immune system because norepinephrine is required for um, better immune function. And so using benzoin in that capacity for like autoimmune disorders and somehow or another, I have this feeling like autism kind of falls into that because they oftentimes have hypersensitivity, um, allergies and so forth. And so, yeah, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to go with it for that, for that time. <laughs> Ooh, I'm stumbling over my words now. I think I've done enough videos for today. Um, but I would, those would be the predominant ways. I really like it um, for, as I said, calming the autonomic nervous system and, pardon me, and stabilizing the immune system and kind of helping to normalize the way the body is reacting to the world. And when you combine that with patchouli, it does have some antimicrobial 
benefits as well, including for um, yeast and fungus. So um, I would, that's where I would, that's where I'm going to leave it because I'm a little concerned, honestly, about the skin irritation. That's the last thing I want anybody to do, but it's really good for, um, it's a resin, if you're not familiar with it. Um, but it, you, the biggest thing that I would say is you want to make sure you dilute it above everything else because um, it's if you put it on your throat, say for instance, because you have mucus and cough, which is, again, it's very helpful for that. Why? Because it helps to stabilize. Oh, that's just made me think of something. Because it helps to stabilize the immune system, which means this is really good for using with histamine intolerance. Um, it's not the most exceptional one, but it actually will help reduce a lot of that phlegm and the... Um, histamine reactions but if you get rashes please be careful with it another good reason to use um I, actually i have personally used it is for chillblains if you ever have extreme exposure to cold it helps to relieve the inflammation and the pain that goes along with that and so you could actually pair that with um uh, cypress which is one that i talked about in 31 days of essential oils so i think i'm going to leave you there um because there's a lot more to benzoin than that, but I want to get into that into the blog. But if, if I haven't covered something that you want to know more about when it comes to this oil, by all means, let me know. But I strongly recommend this. And before I go any further, I strongly recommend it for ADHD and autism. Because I've actually had some kiddos come to me that were taking, I can't remember the name of the medication, but it was a, um, a high blood pressure medication that was kind of like a norepinephrine reuptake. <clears throat> and it encouraged the um, the the um, it enhanced levels of neuro norepinephrine in the system, which is very calming to the system. That's one of the ways I discovered how benzoin is very, very helpful for that. And oftentimes, um, when any of us feel unsettled, that is because of a hyperactive auto uh, autonomic nervous system. And so including benzoin, even occasionally, um, is um, quite beneficial. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Um, and then day five... We're going to get into, um, oh my gosh, I just drew a blank. I said I'm done for the day. How can I forget? Fly. All right, see ya.